we've always been uh, politically diverse, uh, considering that that's one of the strengths of the country in a, in a free society. In light of what's happened in the last six years, uh, political diversity has been uh, attempted to be thwarted, and we've kept it alive here. Uh, we've not adhered to any of the, the snuffing attempts that have come from the administration. We've kept free of that, so our stuff probably becomes more and more political as a result. Left? Well, I'm left-handed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I am not a very modern person. Um, but whatever you feel about it, um, that's been pretty well taken off the boards. And so I think anybody with a rational mind, with a sense of decency, um, is being positioned as a lefty by the behavior of the extreme right. So it's, they've kind of pushed it. Um, but I just believe in the, the fundamental uh, tenets of, of democracy. When they get pushed, shoved, compromised, or attempted to be snuffed, it, it pisses me off. There's a breadth to the, the subject matter in documentaries at the festival this year that I think is really covers the gamut from the political to the personal, as we've had in the past. And I think that the, the idea that, that particularly what we're focused on in, in telling stories at Sundance really does involve a range of different kind of agendas and perspectives. It's, it's actually interesting that in almost every section of the festival that we have documentary, and they really, they speak towards such a range of aesthetics and such a range of, of subject matter that it's, it's, it's just, I think, underscores the transformation that the documentary arena is undergoing and still undergoing. You know, maybe it has to do with a new generation's perspective towards realism and realist aesthetics, even the influences from, from television and cable and all of the different kind of work, because it certainly moved beyond the traditional forms. And it, as we've said, it has nothing to do with talking heads and education anymore. <laughs>